The dynamics of classroom interaction is often dictated by the arrangement of the classroom itself. And the way in which the classroom is arranged could depend upon a number of factors, and they might include things such as the age of the students. So, for example, we're unlikely to have the same arrangement for adult learners as we would have for young learners. It could also depend upon the actual physical space available. The physical space may determine how we have to arrange our classroom to maximize the opportunity for interaction and so forth. It will also depend on what material is available. And by material, in this case, we're talking about the actual desks and chairs and so on and so forth. Perhaps the final thing we might put here is that it could also depend upon the students' personalities. So within the idea of classroom arrangement, there are a number of possibilities, and those possibilities, we need to think about a number of questions as to how we arrange the classroom. Perhaps first and foremost, how is it going to affect the actual classroom atmosphere? Secondly, which actual classroom arrangement is going to be most conducive to our classroom control? Thirdly, Will it allow for maximum student-to-student -student interaction? So we could call that student talk time. And finally, is it possible with the particular classroom arrangement that we've got to do all of the planned activities that we have created for this lesson? So before you actually arrange the classroom in any particular way, ask these questions of yourself and think about the physical space, the age of the students, and so on and so forth. And from those parameters, decide which classroom arrangement is going to be best.